Hi, it is me again. Uh, today is our lesson three for internal combustion engine still. We still in internal combustion engine chapter. So this is the tutorial uh, that I take up from uh, last final year last final year not last final year last uh, second last final year question yes 2018-2019 okay question is question number 2 let me read it for you A question 2 A 4 shock engine has explicit advantages over 2 shock engine least 4 differences between the engines you know, this is the favorite question. List four difference between four stroke and two stroke. It is simple things. Uh, just list up. You can get freely for four marks. Okay, just list up. Okay. And question to B. Turbine is majorly used in compression ignition or CI engine to produce a higher compression ratio again the question is asking the same uh, same the same uh, team again okay the turbine is majorly used in uh, diesel engine actually CI is actually a diesel engine to produce a higher compression ratio see uh, the question is repetitive you have to uh, tackle that question least four differences uh, the, uh, the turbine what the use of turbine what the use of compression uh, air to improve compression ratio these are the familiar question you should be able to master it before you enter exam hall okay you should master it at least you have something inside your head before you come and sit for this paper okay it's supposed to be very easy okay continue on the question to see uh, this one is actually uh, very straightforward question let me read first a small power generator has a single cylinder of two stroke engine okay uh, last lesson last two lesson is a four stroke engine but now we have a two stroke engine which is operate at 10,000 rpm with a volumetric efficiency of 0 0.85 the engine also has a specification of stroke equal to ball see there the engine has specification of stroke equal to ball which means your stroke where your piston up and down or reciprocal reciprocal moving has a has the same uh, length as the ball and also the question giving you a volume displacement or VD with 6.28 cm cube beware with the cm cube because you need to change that to basic uh, unit basic SI unit and furthermore a fuel air ratio of 0 0.067 given the density of air is 1.225 kg per meter cube answer asks you to calculate the flow rate of air and fuel into engine okay basically two two things they ask you for the question C1 question 2 C1 uh, the question asks you to find or to calculate the flow rate of air and then the flow rate of fuel into the engine and second one the question asks you to calculate the flow rate of air and fuel into engine if the stroke has a twice length of the ball okay if the stroke has a twice length of the ball 
what is the flow rate what is the mass flow rate of air and what is the mass flow rate of fuel on the last question evaluate how to save the fuel consumption for the engine this is also the same or familiar or repetitive question that I will ask you in this kind of subject you should be always prepared with this kind of question whether it is come out it will come out or it will not come out make sure that it is always in your head how to save a fuel consumption the differential the difference between uh, uh, four stroke and two stroke and what is the use of compressed air or what is the use of turbine you always need that okay you always need that and the last one is based on question 2c again identify two possible ways to still harnessing the engine but appreciate sustainable energy this is the, the combination of 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 topic actually this is co combination of topic uh, but uh, you, you can you can still uh, think what what kind of what kind of uh, sustainable sustainable energy uh, can be used and still we need to and still we can harness the engine to move any part okay okay you can still uh, think about that it is easy it is easy question you should not left leave it blank in your examination okay let me solve for you uh, the question 2c okay before we start it before we start to solve it what we, sh what we should have to do is to list up to always list up okay and then we change to whiteboard okay here let's list up all the information all the impo uh, in the, in the important information that given inside the question let's list up the important information given in the question okay let me change the bigger size of pointer let me write it for you given I always write the given first and my student I was not following my instruction here list up all the information list up all the information I always repeat that in the class list up all the information first if you need to change or you need to convert the, the, the unit this is where you need this is where the place you need to convert it okay before you enter any number inside the formula okay given here given a two stroke engine be mind that the question has single cylinder and two stroke engine which is n is one and the uh, uh, capital n or rpm 10000 r p m convert immediately to rps we need in second not minute anymore okay uh, 10000 divided by 60 right okay good volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency question giving you the volumetric efficiency equal to 0 0.8 Five. The engine has a specification of stroke equal to bore, where bore has the same length with stroke. Write it up, okay? And the displacement volume of VD, VD equal to six point two eight centimeter cube there you go centimeter centimeter cube you need to change it to meter cube not centimeter cube okay how to change it 
just put sorry just put an extra at the end of your numbers here with minus 6 meter cube just remember that just remember that it's always minus 6 for centimeter cube to meter cube Uh, and then, what else? The density of air given is 1.225 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, the question asks you to find what? Let me change it to the red here. Find what? Find the flow rate of air and fuel. Flow rate, mass flow rate of air and mass flow rate of fuel. These two with two marks, which means we got it this correct. We got it this correct. It's one mark. You got is this correct? There's another one mark. Okay, it is difficult for this 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 question to got uh, a one mark. Can you imagine that if you can list up four differences between uh, uh, four stroke and two stroke engine? Four differences, just list up. You got the four mark. But to solve the calculation part. Only to find you have to list up all the information here, and it's not included when you convert wrongly here. So you mess a lot of things before you got one mark. So be remind that you always need to have uh, some very good uh, 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 memorization before you enter the examination. Okay. Not everything inside uh, examination is calculation. Of course, you need to understand, to perceive what you understand in the class, what you understand during your reading. Okay? Find this and continue. Uh, let choose purple, solve or solution. Good. So you have to write first the formula that you remember I giving you in in the class I also giving you inside uh, uh, the examination hall but most of you don't know how to use, how to use it yeah good volume a volume volumetric efficiency this volumetric efficiency symbol equal to volume of air divided by volume displacement Displace, displacement volume lah. okay knowing that uh, rho of air equal to mass air divided by VA right is that correct? This is basic question. Basic equation you know it uh, during during your uh, school study. This is very basic equation. Everyone should know it. Okay, you can change V A into function there by putting a rho of air into denominator of this equation. Okay, so you can you can replace exactly into this question this equation sorry okay let me put it together so you can see clearly what we're going to do uh, m mass of air divided rho of air divided all that by displacement volume good divided by displacement volume furthermore we know that mass flow rate of air equal
equal to mass a time n so you need this into this this formula so you have this inside the component of inside that inside this formula you have this component okay make it as a function again a divided by n then another simplification when you put this equation into this m dot rho a b d n am i correct am i correct so uh, on the left hand side here you have we have volumetric efficiency if we pull all these together on the left hand side you can get this is a is a final function equal to volumetric efficiency times rho times vd times n correct this is you can get easily you can get easily the mass flow rate by putting all the in the information together inside this rearranged formula okay a is a here so mass flow rate of a putting all together sorry with the eight eight five times one point two two five doesn't matter with the the unit because the unit is already at the basic SI unit so times six point two eight power of minus six times ten thousand divided by sixty so you should have a mass flow rate of this one one point zero sorry one point zero eight one zero eight nine power of minus three kilogram over second this is ma if you pull up together and question oh i forgot to write something inform something important the fuel air ratio fuel a ratio given in the question is 0 0.067 so what so you already have uh, you already have a mass flow rate of a then to got the fuel a simple like this times times 0 0.067 then you got what this is here then you got 7.2963 power of minus 5 kilogram per second so i don't i don't find any difficulty with this as long as you memorize all the formula all you need is formula right all you need is formula and uh, correctly press the calculator you got two marks ready there's no there's no trick behind this question you got two marks for this there's no trick for this question it's a straightforward question furthermore the question or solution number two Solution number two 
let me save all this let me save all this no no because the question is continuity question is continuity we should just eliminate this so in the given or something you don't, you don't have to rewrite back this enough for this one wait for me wait for a moment let me delete all this good okay fine fine what fine what or this time for this time they put another uh, another another sharat another condition another condition to the question calculate the flow of air the same things the same things as you flow of air mass flow of air and mass flow of fuel but with a uh, 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 ball equal to two stroke do you got it? do you got it? oh sorry the ball the stroke has twice length of the ball the stroke the stroke has a twice length of the ball uh, it is correct okay this uh, extra information given in the question so the solution the solution here let b ball and stroke first has the same bow and stroke in the first question right bow and stroke have a uh, same same length but we don't know what exactly uh, the length of bow and stroke before we can solve this one so we need to find uh, which uh, either one of these bow or stroke in order to solve this uh, combination or this information so we have to find uh, the length of ball or the length of stroke first okay okay let's 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 solve it uh, solution first when we use ball and stroke has the same length and vd given is actually and the question here 6.2 this one 6.2 8 power of 6 meter cube what is the formula for VD? VD equal to A time L or A of ball squared times L when, when L is actually S but S here S has the same length of ball so I put it ball here so you have pi b squared times b so your vd is so your vd is 6.28 6 pi b power of 3 so you can find b right from this uh, square root not square root cube root of 6.28 power of 6 divided by pi so my answer here is b or your bar your bar has a zero bow and stroke is 0 0.0199 m okay good so you have bow and stroke 
there's not uh, there's still not answer answering your your the the second question yet because the second question asks you what is what if what I, what is the mass of a mass flow rate of a and mass flow rate of fuel if bore if sorry if the bore has the twice length of stroke sorry if the stroke has the twice length of bore okay this is the correct way so in this situation you need to find vd for a uh, stroke that has a tw uh, twice of ball so how to find that easy vd let me use another color so you're not boring vd same uh, equation vd equal to a times l a is area of the top of the piston and l is the stroke so you are using pi you have a ball you have a ball of have a ball of this you have a ball of this 0 0 9199 power of 2 and stroke 0 0.0199 divided by 2 then you got the VD your VD is your VD One point two three seven, sorry, three seven minus five meter cube. And after you cut the uh, VD, simply by simply, oh, I forgot to re I forgot to see the equation that you already derived, but I can write write it for you. Actually, at the last one, at the last one, on the previous slide, not previous slide, previous doodles, uh, we already derived some equation, not some equation, this equation, if you still remember, I hope you still remember that, times rho A times vd times n so we use that use this equation back use this equation back but we replace you will uh, you need to replace with this vd okay the last one you use the vd inside inside the question here use the vd inside the question here use this one right but these times you need to use this VD because of uh, this question put you another uh, information this is new information you need to find the new displacement volume of the engine okay so my answer here after you put or, or you plug in all the uh, number this is 0 0.85 the row is there the VD you got here and the N you need to change it to RPS not RPM anymore so you ha you have a mass flow rate of 2.148 power of minus 3 kilogram per second and how you got the mass flow mass flow mass flow rate of fuel uh, the same uh, the question giving you this right the question still giving you this so you can manipulate this equation to find the MF mass flow rate of fuel times 0 0.067 times mass flow rate of A 
Yes, plug in all this number into this. You got a new mass flow rate of one four three nine times ten power of four kilogram over seconds. For this short of uh, uh, of tricky question, this kind of tricky question because. Uh, the question gives you another information that you unable to think properly if you are not calm enough inside the exam hall you cannot uh, you cannot you cannot you cannot you, you cannot think out of this okay so you cannot come up with this you cannot come up with this answer and therefore you cannot find the VD because you don't know the ball and stroke you cannot find the VD when you not, did not find the VD so you cannot answer the question but this is actually the, 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 the very straightforward question so here when you total up everything here you, you press correctly here you got one mark here understanding all this here, you got one mark. Correct here is one mark. Correct the last one is one mark. Total is four marks. Okay, total is four marks. But when we marking your exam sheet, exam sorry, exam answer sheet, we we just looking for the final answer. Just looking for the final answer. If your final answer is correct, you got a full marks. When your final answer is not correct, then we will have to go down all your history or all the step of 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 writing. Which one we can give a mark? So we're not very rigidly to give uh, or uh, to give a mark based on the last result. No, we still look. Your step, we still look at your, uh, we still look at your, your information list up. Everything is count. Everything is a count in order us to give you a marks if you not correctly answer a final, a final answer. Your final answer is not correctly stated as us. So we will find you. You will find how to give you uh, uh, how you how to give you a box so that you will not get any or you will not get any box. Okay. On the last question, there's no more there's no more uh, calculation in 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 internal combustion engine for this part. This is question number two. Okay. Let me read. Let me read back. The question that I give it to you is now here. Evaluate how to save fuel consumption. Come on, how to save fuel consumption of the engine? I also already give you these notes how to save the fuel of the engine. Uh, in fact, you can think by yourself. You cannot. You, you don't have to. You don't have to read a note. You can read by yourself if you understand. Okay. And the last one, question D, based on question two C, list two possible way to harnessing the engine but appreciate sustainable energy. Easy. By using a hybrid car, your hybrid engine. When hybrid engine, you can harness a solar energy or you can use the bioethanol or you can use the biogas there's a lot of things there's a lot of things you can list up just identify two ways to steal harnessing just identify two ways you don't need to describe anything identify um, for example you put there biogas I give you one max directly okay. If you go for hybrid, I still need a further explanation because hybrid, what is hybrid? Okay, if you said can use the solar energy from hybrid system, 
then another one mark there's the two marks it's easy so hope that hope that if you found any question then try to evaluate asking you to evaluate to list up to identify this is uh, the question that you should uh, score don't leave blank never leave blank because this all this question is actually a bonus mark for you all these all these this is all bonus mark instead of all the calculation all the, all the calculation is very difficult if you not understand how to, to tackle the question okay hope uh, this tutorial uh, can help you we will have another tutorial on the internet conversion that the last one before we we will go to uh, our next topic or guess uh, guess the bind guess the bind uh, there's another the hardest topic so I bet you need uh, to know uh, or you need to have a lot of a lot of example for internal combustion engine so you can be uh, very familiar with all the VD VS volumetric efficiency the brake power the PI MEP and all that okay don't forget that all this uh, common or familiar question that are repeatedly asking you okay that's it for today thank you thank you again hope that it helped you a lot thank you